Hey guys, welcome back. Now, in the previous video, we looked at how to, uh, you know, reach up to this point where we have, uh, let me just kind of create space here, where we can uh, upload an image uh, like that. We can change it and select an image from our gallery. Now, the reason why I'm using um, a photo library, like I, I don't know if I mentioned it, but the reason is because the emulator cannot, you cannot use a camera. If you use the camera, it's going to crash. So you need a uh, photo library, but if you have a real phone, you're running on a real phone, you could just change the device emulator here if you, once you plug it in and then um, uh, photo, you know, I don't even know what I was saying, but you get the idea. <laughs> now, uh, let's go ahead and uh, uh, now upload the image to parse and, and, the, and this to parse finally. So first of all we want to check if the image is empty so you're going to say if uh first of all when they click the upload button we want to grab we want to grab the text so we're going to say var image text or image caption i'll just say image text yeah that's more easier image text equals to uh upload message message tag upload message I think yeah the first one this is yeah it's not a button dot text so that's the image text now we come here and say if so we're just gonna grab that image text but not we're not gonna check it here if it's empty because my idea is um, we can upload an image without a text it doesn't matter some people would prefer just uploading an image without writing something so in this case, uh, I will do that. So I'll just leave uh, image text as empty or not. Now, um, we want to, this upload image view now, we want to say if upload image view dot image, if the image equals to nil, if the image is nil, then uh, image, is not included allow user to add an image so in this case i'm just going to print this for myself so i could uh, know and i would say we put in a string and say image not uploaded uh, you know else if the user has uploaded an image let's go ahead and store that image in parse so storage of image in parse uh, the way I do it and so that it works seamlessly is by first saving the data I mean the uh, the string data and then coming up uh, and then later on saving the file object which in this case is an image or it can be a video or music or something so in this case I will start off by saving uh, the text first so I'll say if I create a variable and in this one I will call this uh, posts or swiftagrams something swiftagram yeah. I could just say posts post equals to pf object is equal to p Oh, I forgot to import parse. Import parse equals to pf object. And we select the one with the class name. And in this one, we're going to say now we're going to call it posts. I like to start my class name with capital. So this is a class that is going to be here. It's going to appear like the user or session and role. It's going to be a class here containing the posts that are going to be displayed in the list view, All right? And we say posts, and then there's no dot. If I say dot, well, uh, I won't get what I'm looking for. That's only available for, uh, you know, method that are already available in pass, parse, I believe. So in this one, we're going to just put brackets like that. In, that's how they do it in parse, and we're going to say image text so this is the key that we're going to be using to access that text and this is it this is that text that we're going to put in that row you're going to see what happens later now one thing that i'd like to do also is add the user along with the post so that the user who posted it the current user definitely 
and I would say uploader or you could say user or, or you know uploader or I could just say user you know uploader is more precise uploader equals to pf user dot current user so the current user is the uploader so we want to save that as well so that we could always know who uploaded it just in case we want to put that name next to it the item in the future you know and um, now we could save this post uh, dot save in background with block going to double click that to open the and then click this and just say success that checks that and then here error and then what do we do here now the item has been saved we say we want to check first if it's successfully saved right if error equals to nil else so if the error there's no error then success uh, success saving now save image and then else we want to print out the error what happened so that we know but we could advise the user here as well but it's good for us to know first now let's save the image so how do we save an image so the first thing we want to do is create an image data so create an image data um, this kind of comment looks a little better so create image data and then the next thing we want to do is create a parse file to store in cloud so let's first of all create an image data and we can state this by creating a var image data and we're going to say equals to UI image this JPEG representation but that sometimes gives me problems I don't know why but uh, PNG always works for me so image P and yep PNG representation and okay the image data here is um, self dot dot of course I need self because I'm inside of a closure upload preview the image that is on this image right here so we're on the preview right preview image dot image so when I get data from that the preview the image that is on the preview right there okay and once we do that oops, we have the data there I want to create a parse file now we say var parse image file equals to pf file and then this takes data uh, in this one I want to give it an, a string and a data so okay so the string this is going to be the name that is going to be stored in parse and you're going to see this so I'm going to say uploaded image dot PNG make sure you write that PNG there and then the data is this image data okay now after doing that we head back to the post right here that we were in because you're still inside the post now this is like updating posts pretty much so posts and then we could say image file this is the key that we're going to give it equals to this parse image file and then now posts dot save in background with block so I can skip a line here and I would say success error And then now if error equals to nil 
if the error is not available, we could say uh, maybe a polluted is better. If error is nil, then we want to print line and say something like data uploaded. So this is where we're going to be taken home pretty much. So you know I could just say take user home. But for now I just want to print it out so I see what's up. Else print line. Let's print out the error as well. So that is looking promising. And I think that should work. I didn't miss anything. That should definitely communicate with Paris and save our image. So let's, without further ado, try this. Okay. Now let's add an image. I'm gonna add this. Uh, let me add this flowers. I say beautiful flower upload and then we see there's an action here and then boom it gets something data uploaded awesome if I refresh parcel wow look at that we have uh, posts an image file right here if I click it I open it awesome and then the uploader if I click the uploader it takes me to Tony and this is the uploader object ID so and this is the image text and that so basically now in the next tutorial we're going to see now how to grab the image and the text and then so we're going to put the text below it right in the parse so it's pretty simple and we're going to do that in the next video so this is uh, more to cover and i'll definitely see you in the next video thanks for watching